Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll teach you how to program a Nova code hopping transmitter. Single button, two button, or four button onto a Nova Helix multi-channel receiver, two channel or four channel. Let's get into it. As always guys, when buying a receiver new out of the box, always reset your receiver. I'll take you through the process. You're going to power on the device. You're going to put your jumper on center pin and J2. The LED will start flashing. Once your LED is solid, you have to remove your jumper during that time. Confirm erase. Receiver is erasing all four channels. Now I'm going to take you through master learning four buttons on each channel. So blue button channel one, gray button channel two, green button channel three, and red button channel four. For this, you'll have to put your jumper on the corresponding channel C1, C2, C3, C4. Programming channel 1 first, press and hold your blue button, 3 seconds or more. Receiver confirms, now place the jumper on C2 or channel 2, which is our gray button, press and hold 3 seconds or more. Receiver confirms, now programming master channel 3, which is our green button. Lastly, we're going to program a master for C4, channel 4, which is our red button. Press and hold, 3 seconds or more. Receiver confirms. We can now use our master buttons to program new master buttons for channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. What to do is press and hold the channel button you want to learn. Go to channel 2, the gray button, press and hold. 20 seconds, we'll wait for a long beat. Now in master learn mode, so we're on channel 2, we're gonna press and hold channel 2 button, 3 seconds or more, receiver confirms, wait for it to exit learning mode. So now this remote on channel 2 can be used to program more master remotes. Program channel 3 next, which is our green button. So you're going to press and hold on your master 10 to 20 seconds. Wait for a long B. Press your channel 3 remote button 3 seconds or more. See where it's confirmed. Wait for it to exit. Notice learn in. We'll now use the pin learn method program channels 1 and 4 so for that you're going to place your jumper on C1 you're going to use the second jumper place it on the center pin and J1 to learn press your remote for 3 seconds more remote has been learned into channel 1 and for channel 4 remote We'll move the jumper to C4. Press the remote for 3 seconds or more. The remote has been learned in. Take the learning jumper off. Remove the channel jumper. Test our remotes. Remotes are working. If you do not want to have channel 2 and 3 remotes as master remotes, you can demaster them. As follows so for channel 2 we're gonna go into D master channel 2 mode which is our gray button we're gonna press and hold for 20 to 30 seconds double long beat. for 
channel 2 you're gonna press and hold for 3 seconds or more receivers confirm the master of this remote on channel 2 you're gonna wait for it to exit as you can see the remote is still learned in but it's no longer a master if you want to delete a specific remote of uh, the receiver it's a non-master which we'll do with channel 4 remote you go into the same demastering procedure so the red button press and hold 20 to 30 seconds double long B now press and hold your channel 4 button for 10 seconds or more okay receiver is confirmed wait for it to exit no longer on the receiver change the receiver from a pulse to latch per channel it's the same as the single channel which I'll give you a link uh, below and on top but I'll take you through the multi channel right now so we're going to be changing channel 1 from a pulse to a latch for that you'll have to power down the receiver Put a jumper on center pin and J2. You'll also need a second jumper on channel 1 to show that we're changing on channel 1. When you power up your receiver, you use a master remote, press and hold 3 seconds or more, and it will start flashing. So the pulse function is the 2 flash per second, so we're waiting for it to flash twice. Jumper. Receiver confirms the setting. Setting saved. Remove your channel jumper. One press latch on. Another press latch off. And you change it back from a latch to a pulse. You follow the procedure in reverse. So we'll power down the receiver. Place your jumper on C1 for channel 1. Place your jump on center pin in J2. Power on your receiver. Channel 1 button for 3 seconds until the status starts flashing. And pulse is a single flash. We'll wait for a single flash. And then we'll remove the jumper. Receiver is confirming the setting. One jumper, receivers back to pulse mode. As always, guys, several years. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please go and check out the other videos on the channel. Leave a comment below. Leave a comment on future videos below. And I'll catch you next time.